I was appalled to find out that there was this regular um, practice within school lunchrooms um, here in Baltimore and, and, and probably in other cities too, where the children have to take a carton of milk. And there are even some places where it, before they can throw the milk away, uh, they have to take a sip of, wow. you know, of the, the dairy milk before they can throw it away. And that, that just seems so unreal to me, especially since a lot of these schools are in marginalized communities where the populations of children tend to be lactose intolerant. So it's almost like a form of torture, you know? Yeah. yeah. I, that is one of the laws that just makes my blood boil. And it's so clear to me that that law is in place, not for the benefit of our children, but really for the benefit of the dairy industry. Mm. And, you know, milk, um, cow's milk has a, a long and, and sorted history associated with colonization. Mm. And we continue to allow this policy that mandates, you know, children to put cow's milk, which is not nutritionally appropriate, not culturally appropriate for so many kids on their lunch trays. And right now the current law requires students to actually get a note from a doctor saying that they have a disability in order to access a fluid milk substitute like soy milk. Mm. Obviously that creates a huge barrier and a financial barrier that again is disproportionately going to affect low income families who might not be able to see a doctor. And even if they did, a lot of doctors wouldn't say that lactose intolerance is a disability because it's not, it's a right. genetic trait like left-handedness is. Mm -hmm. So that is something that really needs to change in our federal law. And we have been working with Congress to try to change that, to make it so that every student um, who has a note just from a parent should have the right to access um, any, you know, a, an alternative to cow's milk that is nutritionally appropriate for them and to allow schools to proactively provide soy milk to any student, whether you have a note or not, any student should be able to go through the line and say, you know what, when I take the cow's milk, it makes my stomach hurt. So I'm going to take this soy milk that the dietary guidelines say is, is nutritionally equivalent to cow's milk, but our laws are, you know, really catered to the dairy industry as they are in so many aspects of, um, other areas of laws that I, that I work in, you know, where the, the industry has just had such enormous influence on us, um, policy.